Hi everyone. Well, it's another gray, rainy day here in my backyard. Um, but I decided to give you another um, special edition of Cooped Up, another DIY video for you. And today I'm going to be making something called a grazing box, which is, I would describe it as a salad bar for chickens. So you build a box with a special lid on it, um, a hardware cloth lid that allows the grass or other, you know, you can do herbs or other types of plants to grow through the holes in the metal. Um, but then the chickens can nibble at it and graze on it and won't destroy the roots of the plants. So it can keep reseeding itself because the reason why you would build a grazing box is because Chickens love to scratch at the dirt, and so they can damage plants very quickly. And in a chicken run, you could plant all the grass seed in the world, <laughs> and they would just eat it before it had a chance to grow. Um, so that's why chicken runs end up pretty muddy and mushy and dirty fairly quickly. There won't be a speck of green left. So I'm going to build a grazing box for our ladies today because um, they'll appreciate that and I'm just gonna use some scraps lying around our farm here and it's pretty simple and I hope you enjoy here are my supplies for building the grazing box and just like I did with the obelisk I like to recycle materials figured why not waste them use them rather than waste them but for my top I'm going to be using this frame um, it has hardware cloth in it and the frames already built and it's just left over from our old chicken tractor and so I don't need to build a new frame. If you're building from scratch, you'll have to build a frame to stick your um, hardware cloth in. But that is going to be the top of the grazing box. And then for the base, I'm going to use this old panel here. If I was starting out from scratch, you know, with new materials, I would use a piece of plywood. But since I just have this lying around and they are the same size, I'm going to use that as my bottom. And then I have some deck boards here which are going to make the sides to hold the dirt in. And the longer pieces are 24 inches long and the shorter ones are 16 inches long which is the size of our top, 24 by 16. Um, and then of course we'll need some screws to put it together. Got my drill and tape measure and a saw which I used to um, cut the old deck boards to the right length and one thing I want to show you about the screws these screws here are called lath screws and these are important because if you're going to build your frame for the top from scratch with regular hardware cloth you need a screw like this that has a larger head to it that keeps the wire from um, pulling out because if you use a regular screw with a small head it's not going to um, hold your wire in place um, so that's what a lath screw is um, it helps attach metal or pieces of wooden lath to um, other wood so after I have my boards cut and all my parts ready to go the first step I need to do is assemble the sides uh, with my old deck boards here. I'm going to be built. I'm going to be building up on top of a, a platform I have here so that you guys can see what exactly I'm doing. But to put the box together, I need to kind of butt the two ends so that they overlap like that, and then I'll run my screws through here on the ends. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to frame up my box um, 
that will hold the dirt in for the tickets. So just like I did with the last project, the obelisk, I started my screws in the boards before I joined the, the two together, just because that will make assembly easier and I won't drop the screws. So here is the finished frame made out of the sides pieces. Um, the 16 inch sides are inside the 24 inch. So that should work as our main box frame. And now I'm going to attach the bottom. bottom is attached <coughs> to the frame and the next step is to fill it with some dirt so I'm ready to fill the box and I just got regular old topsoil here nothing fancy about it and then I've got some grass seed and it's just regular grass seed no fertilizers or or pesticides anything like that um, mixed in with it because I want the ladies to be, you know, as natural and healthy as possible without adding all those chemicals to their body. So we got some plain bluegrass and ryegrass seeds here that we'll put into the box and hopefully those will grow. We just go ahead, open up our top soil. going to spread it around a bit. Chop up the chunks. I think I need a little more. Stir it up pretty good, make it level so it's easier to carry once you've got it filled up here. Can get kind of heavy, so you know, keep that in mind if you want to be able to move the thing. Don't make it too big. You can build a smaller grazing box, I suppose. Depends on the size of your run. Some people build their boxes right in place so they don't have a bottom. Um, and then you can make it as large as you want. Just depends on how much sunlight can get into your um, chicken run. But ours is pretty close up to the garage and because we have a wooded backyard, I don't trust the sunshine to reach well enough to really make the grass grow. So I'd like to plant it and grow it outside a bit before I stick it in the actual run. 
So now I'm going to spread the seed and really I'm going to overseed it because I want it to sprout quickly and to be real thick. Um, you know, more than you would put on your lawn. And what's great about it is the roots aren't destroyed so it should keep growing even if the chicken nibble it down, kind of like cutting your lawn. Um, but if it does for some reason not sprout again, you can reseed it as many times as you want. You just drop it through the hardware cloth. And of course you can change up the style of seed. You can throw some clover and flowers in there too as long as they are chicken friendly. Um, and you can always carry it back out of the run if it needs some sunshine. You know, give it a week to revitalize itself and then put it back in. And I think the ladies will really love it. And here is the box. It's now filled with dirt. It's about a third of the way full. I don't want it to be too heavy so I can carry it. Um, and then I've got the seeds in there, as you can see. Um, so the next step is to add the cover. I gave the seeds some water and set the grazing box in a nice sunny spot where I'll let it sit for a week or so depending on how long it takes to sprout but can't wait to see the results and if the ladies have a nice salad bar to enjoy. So it has been a week and you can see the grass is starting to grow in the graze box. So I'm really excited about that, that it started to sprout and hopefully in another week or so grass will be nice and thick and grown right to the top. It's been kind of humid these last few days with lots of rain so that's good for it. And then I can stick it in the chicken run and the ladies will have some grass to feed on and it should stay good and plentiful all summer long so they won't ever run out of green stuff. So I hope you all are happy and having a great time. If you decide to build a graze box, good luck to you. If you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email or you can always check out Pinterest. Lots of good tutorials and ideas on there um, and advice on how to make your own. But don't be afraid to experiment. Give it a try, especially if you have chickens, they'll certainly enjoy it. Well, I'll talk to you later. Bye.